what we're working on could be called the elixir of youth, but what it really is, it would be a pill that you could take for one disease, say to prevent type 2 diabetes, and it would prevent maybe 20 other diseases, cancer, heart disease, even Alzheimer's. And in that way, you would live longer, but healthier as well. We're working on genes that seem to slow down aging, and we discovered that a molecule in red wine called resveratrol activates those anti-aging genetic pathways that exist in all our bodies. Unfortunately, you'd have to drink about 100 glasses a day of red wine to have a big effect on your health. And that's why we're working on other molecules that are stronger, more potent, and those we think will become the drugs of the future. These genes that we're working on in the cell act as traffic cops that tell the cell how to work and how to work in a youthful state. Every single cell in the body contains a DNA or plans for every other cell. In a youthful state, this DNA is tightly wound so that it can only make a certain cell type. So a liver cell will only make another liver cell, rather than, say, a brain cell. In ageing, this tightly wound structure can become loose, resulting in dysfunctional DNA behaviour, which can lead to cancer and other age-related diseases. An anti-aging molecule called SIRT1 keeps this process in check. But as we get older, the level of fuel needed by SIRT1 starts to drop. We can artificially boost the levels of the fuel needed by SIRT1, thereby maintaining the cells in a youthful state and slowing down aging. Well, I don't put a limit on how long we could live. We don't have an upper limit. Um, I think if we can really target these anti-aging pathways that we know exist in our bodies, the sky's the limit. We're not talking 500 years, but we're talking 100 in a healthy state, productive, uh, playing with your great-grandkids, that sort of thing.